Did you know that vitamin D has a tremendous impact on our body's ability to combat disease from both external and internal sources? This vitamin is found in countless food sources and yet millions of people are deficient in it and their deficiency is never diagnosed. Despite its name, vitamin D is actually a steroid hormone that you obtain primarily through sun exposure, not via your diet. Since most dermatologists and other doctors recommend avoiding the sun and using sunscreen before venturing outdoors, vitamin D deficiency has reached truly epidemic proportions throughout the world. Let's take a look at the 10 signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. Number one, gum disease. When was the last time you went to the dentist? If it was over a year ago, then it's time to give them a call and schedule a basic cleaning so your dentist can examine the health of your gums. If you experience redness or bleeding after brushing and flossing on a regular basis, then you might be at risk of having a vitamin D deficiency. Your dentist and doctor can help you resolve this issue, but it is luckily an easy adjustment to add more vitamin to your diet or spending more time soaking up the sun. Number two, bone health. A lack of vitamin D can impair the body's ability to put calcium into bone tissue, which can lead to weakening of the bones. A vitamin D deficiency can be associated with various pains, in particular with the tibial bone pain in tenderness. It's recommended to ensure a daily intake of the necessary amount of vitamin D to avoid bone pain, bone fracture and related diseases like osteoporosis. Number three, head sweating. One of the most non-obvious symptoms of vitamin D deficiency in adults is excessive head sweating, especially compared to the rest of the body. If your head sweats a lot, this may be related to a lack of vitamin D in your body and you might need to consult your doctor. Number four, constantly feeling fatigued. Feeling fatigue is when your body has no energy to carry on as it normally should. When you feel fatigued, it is very normal for your anxiety and overall feeling of lethargy to take over your body. The more time you spend in the sun soaking up the vitamin D you need, the better off you will be emotionally and physically. Number five, getting sick often. People who suffer from vitamin deficiency will often break out with the flu or other respiratory problems. Vitamin D has a crucial role in keeping inflammation of the cells and the immune system at bay, so a lack of this vitamin will lead to increased issues. Number six, anxiety and depression. Vitamin D is a unique vitamin that influences many parts of our bodies, including the brain. After the vitamin is consumed by food or synthesized in our skin, it releases neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin that influence brain functioning. According to scientists, a lack of vitamin D can lead to anxiety, depression, and even be related to mental illnesses including schizophrenia. Number seven, you have hypertension. Harvard experts published a study in the Molecular Nutrition Food Research that revealed a vitamin D deficiency may be common to people with hypertension, also known as high blood pressure. If you are hypertensive, you're putting yourself at risk for cardiovascular diseases, heart attacks and stroke. So don't disregard the lack of vitamin D in your system. Experts are still trying to study the effects and pathology of vitamin D in blood pressure. One possible explanation points to the calcium content of this particular vitamin, which is an important nutrient for the body's cellular and metabolic processes. Number eight, you're experiencing hair loss. Hair loss is fairly common for people who are suffering from stress, but if your hair is falling out excessively, you may be vitamin D deficient. Hair loss is one of the earliest symptoms of people with an autoimmune disease. Vitamin D nourishes and stimulates the hair follicle. If you don't have enough of this vitamin, it could stunt the growth of your hair. Number nine, vitamin D regulates your genes and helps prevent cancer. Vitamin D functions like a hormone and gene modulator in the body, turning on and off certain genes in the DNA. It works by modulating cellular growth and limiting cancer cell growth. This is why vitamin D acts as such a powerful inhibitor of cancer growth and why deficiency has been associated with prostate, ovarian, breast and colon cancer. Number 10, your athletic performance could be better. Insufficient vitamin D may impact your fitness levels and muscle function. 
Analysis published in the American College of Sports Medicine, Health and Fitness found that vitamin D supplements improved the physical performance in those diagnosed with vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency is linked to an increased inflammation and after intense exercise the body is inflamed. If inadequate amounts of vitamin D are already in the bloodstream then the speed of recovery from intense exercise is increased. Let's take a look at the top 5 risk factors of vitamin D deficiency. The first one is rarely spending time outdoors and or always wearing sunscreen. Researchers have noted that vitamin D deficiency is prevalent in adults of all ages who always wear sun protection which blocks vitamin D production or limit their outdoor activities. The ideal time for sun exposure is between 10am and 2pm when the UVB rays are present. The second one is darker skin. Your skin pigment acts as a natural sunscreen, so the more pigment you have, the more time you'll need to spend in the sun to make adequate amounts of vitamin D. If you have dark skin, you may need as much as 10 times more sun exposure to produce the same amount of vitamin D as a person with pale skin. Also, if you're 50 or older, as you get older your skin doesn't make as much vitamin D in response to sun exposure. At the time, your kidneys become less efficient at converting vitamin D into its active form. Older adults also tend to spend more time indoors. This results in getting even less sun exposure and therefore less vitamin D. Obesity is another factor. Because vitamin D is fat soluble, body fat acts as a sink by collecting it. If you're overweight or obese, you're therefore likely to going to need more vitamin D than a slimmer person. In one recent study, vitamin D deficiency was three times more prevalent in obese individuals. The final one is gastrointestinal problems. Vitamin D is fat soluble, which means if you have a gastrointestinal condition, this affects your ability to absorb fat, and you may have a lower absorption of fat soluble vitamins like vitamin D as well. This includes gut conditions like Crohn's disease and inflammatory bowel disease. You also need to take the correct amount of vitamin D supplement. Vitamin D3 is the active form. Some supplements and prescriptions contain vitamin D2 which isn't biologically active. Also you need to take the correct amount of vitamin D supplement. Supplementing with vitamin D3 daily for about 3 months is recommended for those who are deficient in vitamin D. But make sure you're being supervised by a doctor and they will give you the correct amount. You can also choose to eat the correct dietary sources of vitamin D and these include fish liver oils like cod liver oil, cooked wild salmon, cooked mackerel, one whole egg and mushrooms. To conclude, let's take a look at the final thoughts on the signs your body may lack vitamin D. Being vitamin D deficient is fairly common. Still it's about high time to pay attention to the signs because your general health and well-being are tied into it. It's very easy to treat this condition but it's also important to talk to your doctor to get more input, guidance and advice. For many people increasing their vitamin D supplements, changing their diet to incorporate more foods rich in this vitamin and spending more time outdoors can be a game changer, especially if they suffer from an autoimmune disease. The only way to gauge whether you might need to supplement and how much is to get your level tested, ideally twice a year in the early spring after the winter and early fall when the level is at its peak and lowest point. This is particularly important if you are pregnant or planning a pregnancy or if you have cancer. Research has also shown that if you are taking high doses of vitamin D whilst having insufficient magnesium levels your body cannot properly utilise the vitamin D you are taking. The reason for this is because magnesium is required for the actual activation of vitamin D. If your magnesium level is too low, the vitamin D may simply get stored in its inactive form. This may actually help explain why many need rather high doses of vitamin D to optimise their levels. According to research, as many as 50% of Americans taking vitamin D supplements may not get significant benefit due to insufficient magnesium levels. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video on the 10 signs and symptoms of vitamin D deficiency. And if you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on further information on vitamin D deficiency. Thanks for watching and bye for now.